Welcome back. Now, I want to show you a gadget that I've been waiting to get my hands on since Series 1 of The Gadget Show. It's a piece of technology that I'm convinced will revolutionise all of our lives in the next few years. And certainly companies like Microsoft and big car manufacturers like Ford are desperate to get their hands on it too. And this is it, the in-car PC. Isn't it fantastic? It's got a 160 gig hard drive, a 2.33 gigahertz processor, it's running XP, and it should be able to do all the kind of office workday tasks that I would do on a normal working day, except within the four walls of this rather small polo. And to test that theory out, I'm going to spend my whole working day in the car. I'm not going to move from this seat. It's a concept the whole tech world are talking about. This one is British, and I couldn't wait to try it out. To me, it seems like the logical next step in computing. For people who are on the road a lot, it could ensure they are fully connected all the time. First stop for me, though, coffee and a croissant. OK, now, I have a slight issue in that I can't actually get out of the car, so I think what I'm going to do is put this computer system to the test, uh, try and get online, find the cafe online, and then try and ring them using the uh, touchscreen phone. The PC has full internet connectivity using either 3G or Wi-Fi if you're parked in a hotspot. Wireless keyboard. The wireless peripherals made looking up the cafe's phone number really easy. In addition to XP, uh, my in-car PC is also running something called Centrifuge, which is uh, a software interface that sits on top of the normal operating system uh, and gives me a really nice, simple, icon-based touchscreen. Hello, Zoran? Yes, Jason. Hi, buddy. How are you? Hey, dude. I, I'm, uh, look, I can't get out of my car. OK. But I need a cappuccino and a uh, croissant. Can you sort me out? No problem at all, buddy. Great, I'm just outside. Zoran! Hey, your coffee, buddy. Oh, nice to see you, man. Really nice to see you. Thank Cheers. you so much. Cheers. I can get used to this. Mm. Now I had my coffee, it was time to get down to business. With a fingerprint scanner security system, the PC could log me straight into my email. And because this is a fully working PC, I could download attachments to work on in pretty much any format. Office Word. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Pretty nifty, you might think, but there was niftier stuff still to come. This is the best bit. I actually get to talk now and compose an email by just virtue of speaking. Right, uh, first I'll wake up the uh, voice control software. Wake up. There you go. Compose mail. Jessica Matthews. Tab. Dear Jessica. Comma. New line. Thanks for your mail. Full stop. The script is looking good. Full stop. Click send. It's sent the mail, isn't it brilliant? Your message has been sent. So, after completing my office work, I still hadn't set foot out of the car. And of course, having a dirty great 160 gig hard drive in the car meant I could have my entire 80s based music collection at my fingertips. Oh, look at this. This is the perfect place for a bit of lunch, don't you think? Look, Richmond Green, sun's out, pizza. The in-car computer supports voice over IP calls, so I could order my pizza over the internet and keep my phone costs down too. I'm in a blue car somewhere on Richmond Green. Oh, hang on. Here he is. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Perfect opportunity now as I eat my lunch to try out the TV function. The PC has an integrated TV tuner, which is great, but if the reception is poor, you can watch a DVD instead. It also has extra screens, which can each show different functions. Well, it's been a hard day's work, but I think I should finish things off with my weekly shop. Of course, the in-car PC wouldn't be complete without sat-nav, so I use it to look at the nearest supermarket. And, of course, the fact that I've got data streaming in and out of this car means that my sat-nav is always going to be up to date. There we go, look, Tesco's, look. Excellent. Great. Absolutely superb. 
Ah, but you didn't stay in your car all day. You got out I to know. pick up your shop. I did, didn't I? Which is a bit, yeah. a bit of a shame. But hey, I could have shopped online, so I think it's OK. This is true. Let me ask you, seriously, why are you so passionate about in-car computing? I think because it's a bit of a no-brainer. I mean, we've got computers everywhere, at home, at work, in our mobile phones. So why not in the car? You know, the place that many of us mm -hmm. spend two, three hours in a day. I absolutely guarantee that in the next series of The Gadget Show, the one after that, uh, we're going to see John Bentley reviewing, you know, which are the best yeah. in-car computers on the market. Yeah.